All right, hey there Sagittarius, you guys. So for Friday night, I am doing a separation read. And you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and the past or kind of what caused the separation. Um, and so if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements, you guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. I think that's all I have for the opener. So let's just go ahead and kind of bust in and see where you're at. So who are we talking to? Sagittarius, you could be in fear that a new beginning is not coming towards you. All right. Um, we, you, but you're definitely taking care of yourself. I feel like the focus is on you for right now. And I feel like for the, for whoever I'm talking to, you're more about this person coming towards you at this point. So if something didn't lead to a commitment this last time, um, for whatever purpose, whatever happened, you guys, I just feel like it's fine. I'm going to take care of me. This person can come towards me. All right. With the Knight of swords, this is ambition. Um, it's also kind of navigating, um, your own success all right so i just feel like you're kind of in this mode where it's like regardless of whether this person comes back around or not um you know you we all kind of know that we life is is ours life is what we make it right and so i kind of feel like um you're you're here you're taking action to um, achieving everything you want it's like if this person comes through great if not i'm still going to take care of myself okay and it could be too that um in in the past as far as what your energy is and what you're feeling towards this connection it could be that this person um i i want to say maybe even suddenly left but let's see what happened i want to look at the past what happened what has happened all right we have the king of cups coming through in reverse the ace of swords so i do feel like this is a newer connection and if it's not a new connection it's one that never got off the ground for sure all right um and the reason why i'm saying that is is because we have this king of cups in reverse that's going to be somebody who's not emotionally available in fact they could be emotionally manipulative or even moody um, they lack compassion, all right, maybe even self-love and self-care. With the Page of Swords coming through, this is delayed beginnings. So I feel like you guys may have just had a hard time trying to get anything started, um, you know, towards success, towards victory, towards the the actual newness when it comes to like the commitment Um and you're not going to get commitment from somebody who's emotionally unavailable, right? Um, so I just kind of feel like that's where you guys are sitting at. Um, a delayment in, in the beginning, a delayment in the connection or the commitment. Um, and the Ace of Swords is telling me that there may have been a lot of communication about the future, but it never came, right? And it could be too that you're kind of acknowledging that this person um, does lack compassion or lacks um, um, the openness the openness to be um, committed, all right, to you. So let's see who it is we're talking about. What is this person's energy? We have um, Aries. We have Scorpio coming through with the King of Wands coming in reverse. That is uh, Sagittarius and Scorpio. Um, we have the Eight of Wands coming through in reverse also. So it's almost like this person's afraid to talk to you, all right, especially if they've shown you... Um, everything but their true potential when it comes to connecting with you the king of wands in reverse is going to often depict that uh, playeristic vibe so this person is somebody who is not or, or can't be very very serious okay i do feel like they want to talk to you and, and connect with you um, but it's almost like they they've already shown you who they're not or you know what i'm saying it's like that's not who i am so it's almost like you have a glimpse of this person um and who they're really who it's like I've, you, you've already seen the worst side of this person is what I'm feeling. And if that you haven't seen that worst side, it's like, they know that they haven't shown you the fullness that they can actually be with the tower card coming through. That's somebody who's going through um, a terrible, ter a terrible, terrible moment. Um, this is negative changes. The, these are changes that come out of nowhere. And it's almost like this person, they're embodying not their potential um but it's like almost like this person doesn't have anybody to talk to about what it is they're going through at this point um it you know and it could be too that they kind of feel like they've ruined their chances with you so they don't talk to you they're not reaching out um for others of you if they do reach out i don't feel like they're telling you the seriousness of what's kind of going on in their life and how they feel and what they're doing all right so let's just see how they feel about you 
wanting to reach out, wondering if the connection's over with, how they feel about you. You're definitely somebody who's pulled back your energy from them, Sagittarius. All right. We have the four of swords coming through in reverse. And that means that this person does want to come out of the break. But I do feel like this person fears um, that this connection could be, um, you know, it's a chapter that's closed. All right. Um, but the Page of Cups is also wanting to kind of extend um, some communication. This is an offering. It's a gesture. It's a text. It's a call. It's a date. You know, um, I feel like they do want to reach out to you. Um, and I feel like this person does kind of acknowledge their emotional immaturity at this point. Um, but this is like, how can I get back into Sagittarius's good graces? You know, how can I reconnect with Sagittarius? How do I come out of the break period? So let's see what they want from this connection. What do they want? What do they want from you? Look at that. You got the lover's card coming through. That's that soulmate. This is healing right here. That seven of pentacles, man. And it's like wanting to heal the past um, that you guys couldn't kind of um, navigate through beforehand. So I really feel like this person and what they want is to move forward. Um, it's, it's almost like um, this person didn't give you a clear picture of who they were. It's almost like they're afraid to tell you how they feel. It's almost like they're afraid to kind of break into their emotional body. All right. And I feel like what they want now is to kind of heal that over. So where we couldn't see a future or forward movement, this person does want to heal that over. I feel like they're where they're coming from, their their angle is is to kind of acknowledge the deep level that's coming through here on that, on that, uh, on how they feel about you. So let's see what their next move and their intentions are. Their next move, their intentions. Look at that. We have Divine Feminine and Masculine card coming through right after the lovers. So I feel like what they're going to come through is tell you what they couldn't show you before. The Two of Swords is those blockages. That's not being able to see the big picture, but I do feel like this person is going to come through and tell you how they feel. All right, we have the Emperor card coming through as Divine Masculine. The High Priestess card coming through as Divine Feminine. So I feel like this is more about acknowledging the um, soulmate dynamic that is coming through. So if you felt that for this person and they never expressed their deep feelings for you, I do feel like they're going to come back through and express that. All right, it's almost too like their intentions are like, how do I, I mean, I almost feel like this person maybe doesn't feel worthy of you the high priestess card is um it's it can be um potentially an unattainable energy and it could be that this person kind of knows that they've shown you somebody that they that, that it's not my true nature to be somebody that's hidden it's not my true nature to be somebody who plays with other people's feelings and emotions that's not my true nature so i really feel like what this person's going to come through is uh, show you their divine self it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman i feel like they're stepping up and stepping into that role where it's like this is who I am. This is who you deserve to see. All right. So let's see what the potential is. The future potential. We got the five of sword or wands. I feel like that's more about surrendering to the dynamic. Um, you got the sun card coming through with the um, six of coins. So what I feel as far as the, the future potential is you guys are going to be coming out of the, the haze. All right. Maybe you felt like you were being strung along. Maybe this person acknowledges that they were stringing your energy along. All right. And I feel like here's where you're sitting at. So in the future, I do feel like you guys will see some happier days with this person. And I feel like it's up to them to kind of acknowledge where they were sitting at with their energy with you beforehand. But this right here is balance. It's success. It's, 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 it's moving forward. All right. You didn't see that energy before, but look at, we have contract coming in right here. Three of Pentacles is success. It's, it's the contract that you, um, that sits kind of between you and this person. And I feel like the future potential is once you guys can kind of, uh, move away from, from that dynamic, there is going to be some sunnier times ahead. So let's just see what your advice is over the next 30 days. What's going to be happening here. All right, so look at that, you guys. I feel spirit say and make a decision on what you want. Um, clearly decide what you want, you guys. All right, justice card coming through shows that karma is going to be on your side with this. Okay, we have, um, look at that, moving away from heartache, heartbreak, and loss. And I feel like that's going to be on both yours and this person's. I almost feel like for whoever I'm talking to, um, even if you choose to move away from this person for now, um, spirit saying you're, you're, you're 
that's good. It's very, very positive energy to be in because you're already kind of moving away from that. All right. You kind of already know what you want. You know what you're, des you know what you deserve. You know your value. You know your worth. And regardless of whether you choose to take this person back or not, you, you're going to see um, positive um, karmic rewards. And I feel like it's because of how you handled the situation. We do have the return right here. So I do feel like this person is coming back um, over this next 30 days. You guys are at least going to have, um, um, uh, a point to where you can communicate at least how they made you feel at least what you want to see moving forward um, at least to be expressive on I know my value I know my worth I know what I want moving forward and if you can't give me that I understand I love you um, but I'm moving away from that now so let's see who we're talking to this could be yours or this person's first middle or last initials um, and if your initials don't show up, you guys, that's fine. This is where we draw the energy. All right. So we have M and U. H and E. And we have J and A. All right, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a good weekend.